Greater Noida evolved as a prominent housing destination and it is a well connected area. Today I will take you on a tour of MU, MU1 and MU2. Hello and welcome to another episode of MBTV's Locality Review. I'm Shilpi Dubeja. Let's explore all these sectors on the basis of its infrastructure, development, connectivity and civic indicators. But before moving ahead, don't forget to subscribe MBTV. Sectors MU, MU1 and MU2 are surrounded by other residential sectors like Sector 34 Greater Noida, Omicron 3, Omicron 2, Mathurapur and Sector Zoo 2. Sector MU, MU1 and MU2 are well connected to the Knowledge Park facilities, which houses the several companies. Additionally, Honda Car, India Limited and Surajpur Site 4 are located within these 7 kilometers. These sectors also have renowned several schools and colleges in the vicinity. Aman Public School, Scholars Home International School and White Canvas Preschool are located within a range of 3 kilometers. For higher education, there is a Banat University by the Times of India Group, which is about 6.4 kilometers away. Additionally, various colleges in Knowledge Park 1, 2 and 3 are also easily accessible from here. Galgotia's College of Engineering and Technology, Sharda University and IIMT College are few to be named. On the healthcare front, there is a Ivory Hospital, Shri Krishna Lifeline Hospital and Shri Balaji Hospital within the 5 km radius. While there are several local shops to cater to the daily needs of the residents for a better shopping and entertainment experience, one has to travel the Grand Venice Mall or MSX Mall, which are about 8 km from these sectors. The Greater Noida Industrial Development Authority is also planning to build a community centre in MU1 and MU2. These sectors enjoy swift accessibility to the Eastern Peripheral Expressway that ensures good connectivity to Faridabad and Ghaziabad. Noida Greater Noida Link Road, MU1 Road and Public Road are other major approach roads for these sectors. Noida Greater Noida Expressway is the best road to reach Delhi and Noida for these sector. From MU, MU1 and MU2, depot station on Equa Line is 3 to 4 km far. From GNID office, it is 4.5 to 5 km. For intercity connectivity, one can easily reach Boraki Railway Station, which is 5.7 km from these sectors. Indira Gandhi International Airport is about 55 km, which takes anywhere from 1 hour 20 minutes to 1.5 hours in normal traffic conditions. While that seems far, the residents of these sectors will benefit once the Jaivar Airport is operational, as distance and travel time will reduce reduced to some extent. Hazrat Nizamuddin Railway Station is 40 to 41 kilometers away. New Delhi Railway Station is around 47 to 49 kilometers. According to Magic Bricks data, multi-storey apartments dominate the property market of sectors MU, MU1 and MU2 with 72, 40 and 76% respectively. In terms of BHK configuration, 3 BHK rules the roost in sector MU with 44% while 2 BHK with 58% is most popular in sector MU1. 1 BHKs are quite popular in sector MU2. So much so that about 94% of properties available for sale in these sectors are 1 BHKs. For more information about these sectors, log on to www.magicbricks.com and you can find the URL in the description box as well. Noida Power Company Limited provides electricity in these sectors while Noida Jal Board takes care of water supply. The roads in these sectors are wide and well maintained. However, residents here do face frequent power cuts, poor air quality and lack of public transportation facilities are other concerns here. If you have a long-term investment horizon and you are looking to buy property in Greater Noida with mediocre budget, then these three sectors definitely deserve a visit. I hope you like this video. For more such locality reviews, you can subscribe to MBTV. With camera person Manish Sharma, this is Shilpi Dudeja signing off.